Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. Last time we finished off Arkwind Point. It was a lot of It was a little, very good because we got three new filled Grand Soul gems by the end. I was rather surprised to discover when I arrived at Autumn Watch Tower that there was yet another dragon there who had somehow not been aggravated by any of the prior fighting at the Rift Imperial camp or at Arkwind Point itself. But, he's there, he's revered flavor, and ours is the pleasure of killing him. I think we've reached the point, as long as I'm not trying to do it with firebolts, or I can at least get through a dragon like that, even a revered dragon, inside the one hour time frame. So what you'll notice is there are two towers here. The dragon's on that one. Let's go explore this one first. Get bound sword ready. Not really anything worthwhile or noteworthy there. Just some junk here. Now if you come here before you activate the dragons, you can kind of see the remains of it. There are bandits here. Obviously they have since been dealt with by the dragon who's taken up residence here can still see the remains of their camp. Can't see him from here. Can already see the word wall though. Already read Jorna Brett's Last Dance, Light Armor Skill Book. I do believe I already have Fortify Stamina. Yes. There are actually very few enchanting effects left to find. None that I'll actually use. They're only on there for completion's sake. There's his wing. What I'm looking for is, according to the UESP, there's a silver ore vein at the base of the southern tower, which looks like this one to me. Ah, and there it is.
yeah, he's there, all right. <laughs> Mystery of Talara V5, I think, is a new book for me. Not a skill book, but a rare book. Yes, it is new. Now it's off the list. Goody. I'm also... just gonna eat that moon sugar to learn whatever the first effect is. fire. That leaves one effect left to learn for Moon Sugar. <laughs> and I'm gonna wait for that weakness to fire to wear off before I aggravate that revered dragon who's a guaranteed fire breather. 21 seconds. Oh, only 3% weaker. I don't need to worry about it. All right, everybody ready? Let's get this party started. Those slaughterfish scales were actually important. I needed one more for Hearthfire. That number's now zero. Let me see. Here in the boss chest. I know Fortify Sneak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know all those, but they are good. Make no mistake about that. Vampire Dust. Empty wine bottle. Physicalities of the werewolf. Pretty sure we've already read that. Yes, we have. Alrighty. Now, what I was gonna do is eat one of those slaughterfish scales to learn its first effect, which is Resist Frost. Three more to find, but the good news is they're off the list. Now I think we can safely turn our full attention to the dragon. Wherever he decides to go. There he is. Does it seem to anyone else like he's moving extra fast? What potions do I even have? I do have some fortified destruction. Why don't I use those? Restore my magicka. Let me poison the ebony bow with this poison of weakness to magic. Asshole. I can fortify my magic at it while I do it. Oh, dude, Where you at? Yeah. Magic. 
magicka. Stop moving. There you go. when he's nearby again. Yes. I have to say, for a revered dragon, it's been a solid chunk of damage, considering we're operating in the destruction space. Now, all I have left is fortification, so I kind of want to let my magicka refill before I burn those. down a little while we wait. Hello. Actually, I kind of want to... He'll do a physical attack here. I guess not. That's alright. Just about ready for our last little bit of destruction magic. It's just about potion time. Let's do it. I'd rather not get hit by the shout, though. lightning bolts in before this fortification wears off, and then we'll just do the bow while casting the sound sword as often as we can.
that's it. But this feels like a real landing. Well, it wasn't in the sense that he was going to physically attack me, but it was in terms of my ability to hit him with the sword, so that's good. so much. sake. Nope. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ on a bicycle. Kill it. <laughs> oh, fuck you! My goodness. Sorry. I do grow annoyed. These shenanigans. For fuck's sake, stop with that bullshit. Circling, dude. I wonder, will he attack? <laughs> Looks like maybe no. sake. 
Sorry, I just get so mad when he's able to instant a breath attack like that. Three minutes in. Pretty reasonable to not want to be ambushed from behind. So I get why he immediately bails.
probably use Elemental Fury, actually. So I can get more hits. Oh, fuck off! Oh, god damn. Really? That's what you're going with? Conjuration. Could be goody. 25 to go.
pretty close to landing. 33 minutes in. Big question is where is he going to land? Once I do force him to the ground, I don't know. second now. Well, any hit now, I should say. Try and tell me I couldn't have raised my shield in time. Why 
does he get to do two shouts in a row? He's not supposed to. Even he is supposed to have a cooldown, just a small one. That is the shit that pisses me off. Goddamn kill cam. Like, seriously? You're gonna tell me I couldn't have gotten my shield up in time. That's the decision you're taking. Conjuration. Well, that's good. Health is getting a little low. Keep trying to go toe to toe with him, even if I do block. Let's just hang out up here and finish him now. in on the arrow and go slow-mo. Let's, let's see if we can pull that off. Fortify block. Do you think? sake, why is he able to do it so many times in a row? Aww. I was 
was hoping for the kill cam. Oh well. For once, a kill cam in favor of me would have been awesome. But all's well that ends well. He's down, right? Nothing else matters. Soul. 44 minutes in, Autumn Watch Tower is cleared. Let me make note of that on my little list. Just his parts. It's alright. The only other thing to do is to go learn an incredibly useful shout. In my mind, easily the most useful one we've learned so far. Kill! Marked for death! Marked for death is amazing, especially if you... It's better if you actually use one word at a time, because you can hit things with it and stack it up as you go. Speak and let your voice herald doom as an opponent's armor and life force are weakened. Basically, it strips away a huge chunk of their armor rating. It's very, very useful. So, let's go offload, since Autumn Watchtower is done. I don't think anyone around here is getting a chance to respawn because I'm offloading too often. It's alright. Welcome to War Ma Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Daedric Mace of Exhaustion is yours. Hide boots, hide helmet. Woodcutter's axe. Good doing business with you. <clears throat> All right, we got some smithing supplies to drop off. Honored to see. Nothing for enchanting, I don't think. We do have that blacksmith's elixir, which can, can go in there, along with these. And that, and those, and those, and those. Again, my thing. As usual, I'll grab out my ingredients. Don't have anything stolen. Long the only, uh, the only thing I found that I really need to offload is one slaughterfish scales, which needs to go to Lakeview. So that's what's at Bellafor. Let me know if you see anything you like. Every trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. All yours, dog. Oh yeah, such goodies. What useful potions could we make? Bearing in mind that the slaughterfish scales are not on the table. Let me know if you see anything you like. I think they're the only ones with... I'm 
even carrying that have any unknowns. So, can do fortify block, fortify light You'll armor, tonics, salves, paralysis, and on my shelves. some Rats resistances. Of course we're going to do paralysis. And then fortify light armor. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. That's everything I'll actually Do use. I can be of service. So there we go. You look ah, so you're an alchemist then. Okay, take the invisibility and resist magic. Rest all hang on to. Come back anytime. Ugh. Intending to your hounds? Let's go drop off the ingredients. Honored. The exception of the slaughterfish scales, of course. to Lakeview, where we can drop off that last slaughterfish scale. See no reason not to grab a blessing of Ak Akatosh while we're here. Long life to you, Thane. It's my time. Fifty-two minutes. Pretty good. And now, let's return to Autumn Watch. Make the brief journey to my next location. What am I looking at here? An iron ore vein. Shoot! Fuck yeah! Still need hundreds of those. Literally. Now, the next spot we want to go is Froki's Shack. I realize I have a little extra time, but I think... 
I will just make my way there so the location gets discovered and end the video because there's there's dialogue and it starts a quest and gets a little involved however you my friend posed I'd say if I'd seen him in time, he would have had to, but then I realized I totally did see him in time. Good night, dude. You're mine. Now, did it appear on the map yet? I'm not sure it did. Anyway, let's grab this gourd. Let's mine this orichalcum vein. here but the interesting part is that diamond which you can just see and grab straight off the vein how cool right let me see no mushrooms that's too bad circlet of minor archery interesting thing to find if you're playing vanilla, there's a bug, you'll find the diadem of the savant there, which is supposed to be a unique item you get once you navigate Shalador's maze. Now we've been up here already to the uh, Shrine of Talos. At least I think that's what's up here. We'll double check. Wait, wait, wait. Let's fireball this little fool. That was awesome. That was even better. <laughs> mean, maybe. Yeah, try and tell us. We've been up here. Okay, good. Let's wander back down then. Here's Froki's shack. There, we've discovered it. It's not clearable friendly spot and we're actually going to start a quest here. Which is why I'm going to save exploring the inside for next time. Let's do... grab all this stuff. Arrows, the strips, the basket. Is there anything else outside that I need to worry about? I don't think so. Nope, we're good. We're 57 minutes in. That's actually just about perfect. So let's end the video right here. This has been Let's Play Skyrim. We successfully cleared Autumn Watchtower. The relative speed with which we can now handle revered dragons is pleasing to me, especially considering we still haven't even finished the crafting loop. Next time, we'll poke around Froki's shack. We'll probably get past that to the next location or two. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.